Could you tell us your name, please? Rochelle Lehman. Rochelle Lehman. And I'm part of Lehman Mopping Gallery. I'm one of the partners. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the exhibit, please. So the exhibit, uh, as you can see, has really two parts. One part that I know a little better, mm -hmm. which was exhibited already in the Ukrainian pavilion, and the other part, which is presented in the vitrines, mm -hmm. basically sculptural way of representing two-dimensional images. And the second part is uh, what you see on the wall, which would be a more traditional way to to uh, mm -hmm. present photography. Now, uh, the Ukraine project is an incredibly interesting project. Uh, Jürgen was invited to Kiev and got extremely interested in the culture and in the place, Kiev and the Ukraine, in the economy as well as historically we're playing right now, which is maybe a typical uh, new emerging country, mm -hmm. society, and trying to catch up and has a lot to say. So it's a very, very good mixture. So what he was trying really to do is kind of in one set of vitrine, and each of them has, I think, an average of four images, is really to tell a story. Mm -hmm. And the story has something from the past, something from the present, mm -hmm. and something from the future. And really, this is what defines, for me, good art. Mm -hmm. I think there's no art without going and looking back into the past. There is no art, no good art, with connecting it into the present. And there is no interesting art if you're not talking about the future. So you see, as I said, which is really evolving incredibly quickly, and you see this present, this past, and future in very contrary imagery that he captured. Uh, so he gives us a way really to glimpse into a change of a society. For us, we can mm -hmm. take obviously a lot of time and look at it, for him, mm -hmm. he's capturing it in one vitrine, mm -hmm. which are four images, which really gives the whole amount of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, as you know, shown for the first time in the Venice Biennial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the first time I have seen him show the work in a three-dimensional work meaning in the vitrines, mm -hmm. and I think primarily he thought he was doing it because it would look very good in the palazzo it was shown in uh, Venice mm -hmm. in. But really when yeah, we looked yeah. at the work, we realized that uh, looking at the work from up is really giving yourself an opportunity to merge into a sequence of time in history, in present, and in future, and it was a much more dynamic way to view his work than uh, to look at his work hanging on the wall, mm -hmm. which was the more classical way mm -hmm. to, to view his work. So therefore, you have really two elements in, uh, in dimensions in this show. You have the classical way where you're looking on the wall, and you have with that something from the past and really something of the present and the future. But then you have the possibility to view a work from a different perspective, from Area. a sculptural way, from a three-dimensional way. And I think it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I think actually it looks here in the gallery very different than it looks in the palazzo, but as fresh and as exciting. Mm -hmm. So uh, what type of work do you usually show in your gallery? It's a contemporary art gallery, and the gallery was really um, based on the idea to show international artists mm -hmm. from all over the world mm -hmm. for the first time in New York. So we really show artists from all over the world. We have artists from Korea, we have artists from Iran, we have artists from Turkey, we mm -hmm. have artists from London, we have artists from Taiwan, we have artists from Vietnam, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. It's art 
which really engages a very contemporary language, but which sometimes breaks the rule. And it can relate to different words. This is the visual contemporary art world you see here. Mm -hmm. But what we show sometimes relates to theater, relates to film, re relates to architecture. Jürgen's work relates very strongly, as you know, to the fashion world. Mm -hmm. And these are the two worlds we are trying to bridge mm -hmm. when we are w looking into his, uh, his work. So this is the kind of work we show here. Our, our mission is a very strong mission of internationalism. Mm -hmm. And as the world has grown to become smaller in a way, because of communication, mm -hmm. but larger in a way, because it's much so international, I think the mission has become much clearer here as well. Mm -hmm. Because uh, this exhibit is called Ukraine, right. uh, what is your opinion uh, on how Ukraine is portrayed, how, it's, how the Ukraine is influencing the contemporary art culture? I think the Ukraine is exactly the answer what contemporary culture is about. Mm -hmm. It's really a very quickly evolving place. And what is happening today in contemporary society is that structures and time evolves much, much quicker mm -hmm. than we can really capture. Yeah. This is exactly a typical thing that is happening in the Ukraine because of the political situation, because of the economics, because of the need, because of the culture, because of the history. Mm -hmm. So uh, your question was in like how, how does, how does uh, Ukraine, how, how does Ukraine, um, is, how is it portrayed? In, uh, in, in Jürgen's work? Yes. I think I can, I mean, this is how I see. Yes. And he looks into the Ukraine as a place of dreams, yeah. hopes, uh, broken dreams, and broken hopes. So it's really a place where it's still in process. What do you think do you about you of contemporary art? You know? <laughs> I've, been, I've been very lucky to be able to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a very complica complicated road, but I think if you're obsessive, mm -hmm. you get to do in life whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jürgen is really a typical artist we would work with because he's really bridging different cultures. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And he's very, very open about it. Mm -hmm. you know, in the old days, and old days might be like seven years ago, it doesn't yeah. have to be 20 years ago, there was like a big uh, it was stigma against showing, you know, nudity a lot. Of, right. Or, yes, right. Yes. And it's really breaking free where Absolutely. artists can actually really show what they're doing, not just what they're hired to do, but their art, their true artistic ability. Absolutely. You know? There is also the fact is that he can so openly refer to fashion mm -hmm. and call himself an artist at the mm -hmm. same time. I think it's super new. We're mm -hmm. talking kind of five years. Yes. Uh, it was like you had before separations of expressions. Mm -hmm. So you had fashion and yeah. you had that and you had the theater and you had that and you had that. And you can bridge it and speak it's like freely. a fusion. It's everything is becoming so uh, fused yeah, or yeah. like a globalization of culture. You right, know? right. Yeah, um, yeah. What do you have you heard about uh, Pinterest Art Center in Kiev? You know, unfortunately I haven't seen it, mm -hmm. but I do he had shown already three years ago in the Venice Biennial, uh, one of our other international mm -hmm. artists, um, Jun Niwa Natsushiba. Mm -hmm. uh, I hear it's uh, incredibly interesting. Mm -hmm. I, Very, hear, yes. I hear that uh, the, sex, the opening was a huge success and that it's becoming a destination. Mm -hmm. And it, I remembered actually that only 10 years ago, Bilbao, the Guggenheim Bilbao just opened 10 years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. It was like the first time, although Bilbao is in the Basque country, mm -hmm. the Basque country d really did not exist 
on an international uh, tourism level, or, level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and we, we kind of all forgot with this mm -hmm. one museum it changed everything around. So I hear only good things and mm -hmm. I really hope I can come and visit the museum maybe next summer because I understand that uh, Jorgen might have a project there. Yes, he's, he's having uh, an exhibition there as In well. In June, and, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So maybe Very it would be a good, a good opportunity to come and visit. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>